man what is going on guys i'm back with another episode of a tv movie podcast and today i got for you a movie review so happy halloween too man it's halloween if you're watching this happy freaking halloween man i, I love halloween you know i don't really celebrate it like that because you know uh, i don't really get the chance to nobody around me celebrates it so the only way I can really celebrate it is watching horror movies with you guys. And today I got for you a Halloween movie review. This is called Halloween 1978 featuring the beautiful Jamie Lee Curtis. So let's get into this baby. Um, I'm definitely aware of Halloween and Michael Myers, but this is surprisingly the first time I've ever watched the original movie. It came out in 1978 and features a very young Jamie Lee Curtis. She looks like she's a teenager in this film, maybe in her early 20s. It's interesting to see where she started as an actress. I think she was probably the best performer in this movie because the acting overall wasn't that great. This is a franchise film though. And I heard it had a budget of only $300,000, which is evident. However, it grossed over $70 million, making it a significant success for its time. The movie was likely well received, but I don't think it has aged that well. Obviously, it's been over 40 years and life has changed, so have the ways movies have been shot. Did I enjoy this film, however? Of course I did. And... I cannot really compare it with, you know, the Halloween movies that came out in 2018. I feel like that's kind of unfair. So uh, you just kind of have to compare it with the movies that came out back in the 70s. So um, for what it is, though, for a 1978 movie, it was a good movie. And compared to the other films back then, it was probably quite good. Now, let's talk about what happened in the movie and I'll give it a rating. So, in this movie, Halloween, we see Michael Myers, and uh, he's killing his babysitter, man. Like, just demolishing her. And, uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was quite the thing to see. She didn't have any clothes on, too, so this movie definitely had fan service for you, for you degenerates. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um... So, uh, Halloween 1978 is a horror film directed by John Carpenter that follows the story of Michael Myers, a masked killer who escapes from a mental institution after 15 years. Born into a troubled family in Haddonfield, Illinois, Michael committed his first murder at the age of six by killing his older sister, Judith, on Halloween night. This shocking act led to his confinement, and upon his escape, he returns to Haddonfield, where he stalks teenager Lori Strode and her friends on Halloween. As the night unfolds, Lori realizes she is being haunted by Michael, who is relentless in his pursuit. The film is notable for its suspenseful atmosphere, iconic music score, and its influence on the slasher genre, establishing many conventions still used in horror films today. Ultimately, Lori fights for her survival, setting the stage for Michael's status as a horror icon, defined by his violent past and embodiment of pure evil. <sighs> there are some legitimate problems with this movie, however. Halloween, with the acting being the main issue at times. However, what it does well, it does exceptionally well. Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis deliver strong performances, and John Carpenter's direction and score are very fantastic. A less skilled director wouldn't have achieved the level of suspense in this movie, titled Halloween. While I wouldn't say it's particularly scary, it is quite suspenseful as a movie. I find the ending where Michael vanishes to be amazing. Without Carpenter, this movie would fall flat. You know, the iconic movie, the dun 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 Come on, come on, that's classic. His score and direction significantly elevated this movie, making it a landmark film in the horror genre. Overall, I did enjoy this movie and wasn't bored. There are some solid fan service, obviously. Uh, Lori's friend 
and uh, the the first girl Judith in the movie. Uh, I forgot the friend's name, but uh, yeah, we saw we saw something there too. And uh, Michael Myers certainly does his thing with the killings, but I found it more funny and comical than scary. I wonder how audiences reacted back then. Perhaps scary movies were received differently, and it did genuinely frighten people. But I'd love to know how viewers felt when it first came out. Me personally, I've seen a lot of scary movies in my day, so it takes a, it takes a lot to make me scared, honestly. So this movie didn't scare me, but it, it definitely, it de I could definitely see someone back in the 70s being scared, you know, especially with, you know, serial killers on the loose. What I did appreciate most was the film's re realism. It felt like an actual serial killer was on the loose. Michael Myers with his mask stalked people in a way that was unsettling. I liked how the film portrayed both Michael and Laurie Strode. Laurie sensed that someone was following her while others more focused on their lives and relationships were oblivious to how close Michael was until it was too late. For instance, Laurie's friend who snuck out to see her boyfriend Instead of babysitting, if she hadn't been preoccupied with doing that, she might have noticed Michael Myers lurking nearby. The film effectively showcased the perspectives of both Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, doing a great job of kickstarting the franchise. Given that it's a 1978 film, I'm not going to rate it too harshly for production and obviously only at a $300,000 budget, so what can you really do with that? But instead, I'll consider it within the context of other movies from that era. Therefore, I gotta give it at least a seven out of 10. An above average rating, you know, this movie is considered a classic, so I, I can't rate it anything below a seven. That's just not, that's just not fair. So it deserves that recognition for launching one of the most iconic franchises in horror history. But sometimes a classic movie isn't necessarily the best film. And Halloween is a perfect example of that. And I know a lot of people consider this one of the best horror movies of all time. But me personally, I respect it for what it is. But it's not the best horror movie for me personally. Guys, let me know what you thought about this movie. Let me know what you thought about this review. What would you rate it? Comment down below. Happy Halloween, baby. It's been a TV movie podcast. Stay spooky.